Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to discuss about the events in Microsoft Excel. So up till now, what we have been learning through VBA was through macros. That is, you got to insert a module in the VBA editor and then on the basis of that module, uh, we added some sub, uh, sub procedure and on the basis of that sub procedure, we wrote our code and when we run that sub procedure, then that code was executed. But in today's video, we are going to learn about the events. So first of all, let us understand that what is an event. Suppose uh, this is your Excel screen actually. Then if I click on the cell then what happens is the cell is clicked and that is an event which means whenever the user is interacting with the computer then the user performs some actions and those actions are treated as events for the computer like if i just go to this cell and i just double click over here then what happens is this double click is an event for this cell if I just go to the cell, I click on the cell, then this is an event for that particular cell. So clicking and double clicking are just examples. There are a ton of events that are possible. Like key press is an event, key down is an event, key up is an event and so on. There are many events. So in this video, we are going to see that how can we actually handle or work with these events in Microsoft Excel. The reason why we are doing this is because these events have an utmost importance whenever we are working with forms and forms are something which we are going to start from the next video onwards. The forms uh, are basically used to interact with the user. Actually, I'm not going to just go into the deep about the forms because that's the topic for the next video. So let's just understand about the events. So how can we handle or write the code for the events? So what you got to do is bring up your VBA editor and uh, right now I'm in sheet seven. So what I want is I want to write some code or I want to handle the events for this sheet seven. So what would I be doing is uh, in this project explorer, I would go to the sheet seven. When I just double click on it, then the sheet seven's code pane would be open like this. Okay let's just extend it so this is sheet 7 code pane how can you cross check it you can simply go to this um, title where it's written sheet 7 and uh, in the uh, brackets you can see code is written which means this is the code window of sheet 7 so when you are in sheet 7 then uh, you need to uh, wo start working on the events and whatever code for the events you write in this window uh, would be actually uh, only for this sheet like if you write some code for sheet 7 and then this code would not be used in any other sheet it would exclusively be used in this sheet only so let's uh, start you can see there are these two drop downs one is this general drop down which is for object and then there is this uh, declarations drop down which is for procedure so we are going to use these two if we just use this drop down so the first thing you have got is a worksheet so let's just select worksheet as an object as soon as you do that you will get something like this private sub worksheet underscore selection change and there are some parameters and end sub so you can know uh, that this is actually a sub procedure in uh, visual basic so that is a sub procedure that's correct that's absolutely correct so private means that uh, this sub procedure would only be associated with this particular worksheet and it would not be used in any of the worksheets. Now worksheet object means that uh, this is an event of which object? This is the event of worksheet object. And this selection change is actually the name of the event. That is uh, this event, whatever code we write in this sub procedure would be triggered when uh, the selection is changed in the worksheet. And since the worksheet is composed of cells, that means whenever there is a change in the selection of the cells, then this event would be triggered or this event would be fired. Okay. So that is actually the amount of the information which we get from here. This is only one event selection change. If you just go to the second drop down, you can see there are a bunch of events and these are actually all possible events which you can code for like here you can see activate before delete before double click before right click calculate change deactivate and so on there are these tons of events okay 
So let's just create uh, some code for this sub procedure that is for selection change. What I want is whenever the selection is changing or whenever we go to a particular cell, I want its background color to change to something else. Okay. So we know that in order to change the background color, we need to write that cell name dot interior dot color equals to and then we need to write the color. So we need to specify that particular cell through either a range function or through the name of the cell. But we do not know right now. We do not know here that what cell the user is going to click. So we cannot specify a particular name of the cell. We want that particular cell which is clicked that cells color to change so that is why we have something in vb known as target whenever we write target means whichever cell is cur uh, clicked currently it would be the target cell and what operations we want for the target cell i want its interior dot color to change to say uh, vb cyan and apart from that i also want target dot value to be like events uh, within double quotes i need to specify events okay so that's the code we have written now actually there is no need to run it because it is not a macro this is an event so we do not need to run it once you have done this you can either minimize this vba window or you can just close it so i'm going to minimize it since it is in sheet 7 so when we just click on any cell and you can see we got the cyan background hidden events you can click on any number of cell and this event would be triggered similarly you can click on a bunch of cells like you can just click this and all these events are triggered right here Okay, you can just uh, actually fill it up with all this, all events, okay. So that's how it works. That's how the selection change thing works. If you go to any other sheet, this is sheet four. And if I just do it over here, then nothing happens. Why? Because the sub procedure was uh, private to sheet seven. In order to work it for sheet four, we need to copy it and paste it in the code pane of sheet four, then only it would work. So that was about a single um, event. Let's just uh, work upon another event. So let's just bring up VBA. And uh, again, in sheet seven only, we're working with event. If you want, you can work with the different sheets. I'm going to work in the she same sheet itself. And this time I'm going with before double click, which means what happens if I double click on a cell, then what event I want it to trigger. If I just double click on the cell, then uh, what I want is for the target dot uh let's just see that what we want okay so i want target dot clear contents that's what i want whenever i double click on the cell so if you just double click here its contents are cleared like you just double click double click double click its contents are cleared which means that to um, whatever is written that is events was written so it is cleared on double click so that's how you can handle another event you can see this cannot work for multiple cells actually because you need to double click on a individual cell at a time and now if you just select the cell if you single click it then you will get the cyan and events if you just double click then events will go off like this okay so that's how the events work and uh, we discussed about two events if you want you can work with these multiple events over here and one more thing uh, the events that you select we just code it for before double click and we code it for selection change so both of these events are actually bolded which means that uh, we will recognize that yes we have coded for these two events so that's how it works that's how you can work with the events that was for the worksheet events and uh, similarly you can code for as many events as you want suppose you want to work with calculate event so you can just add calculate event and code anything that you want so that was all about the events that you need to know in a uh, vba and um, that is all for the video i hope you all have enjoyed it and thanks for watching goodbye